In this video, we'll walk you through the Perception On3 motion capture setup. Let's get started. Navigate to our neuromocap.com website. Under the support menu, go to our downloads. Here, you will find the latest version of Axis Studio. Click to download. Run the installation package. When completed, run Access Studio. You will be prompted to have a valid license. Therefore, we will need to activate our Access Studio software dongle. Attach your software dongle. Back in our software window, click Activate. Input the activation code found in your online order or email. In the drop-down menu, you will see your software dongle's serial number. The activation will complete. This will now unlock Access Studio. Now let's prepare for motion capture. We will utilize a magnetometer reader on our phone. An ideal environment ranges from 40 to 50 microtussels. Perform a walkthrough with your magnetometer reader. Once ready, let's open a project so we can connect our suit. To set up the transceiver, attach a transceiver onto your computer. Access Studio will detect the device and an installation prompt will display. Take note of the IP address assigned to your transceiver. Click Yes. To see the transceiver active, go to the capturing window and locate the suits panel. Then update the options located under the settings, device, Before every mocap session, we must initialize our sensors. Our mocap assist tool found in our suits panel will help us get started. We first need to have our sensors on. Next, follow the instructions and place the sensors on top of our EBA case. This will ensure the sensors are placed above any magnetic interference. Now let's continue with our sensor initialization. A total of four steps are performed. Next, strap installation. Our performer must wear fitted clothing. Review all sensor placement. Straps cannot be displaced during the performance. Place sensors around the performer. Each sensor has a label or where they are assigned to. Sensor direction is not important as our posture calibration process will adjust the placement and orientation. So that Axis Studio understands our performance dimension and help improve accuracy, select a body size preset or create a custom size profile. Posture calibration requires the performer to meet posture criteria. This helps Axis Studio understand the placement of the sensors based on the performer's body dimensions. Based on your working mode, the postures vary. We can now record our first take. Back in a capturing window under the take information, let's name our file. Then we can select a folder inside of our project where we want to save the file. Include some comments and record. Once the recording is complete, we can now open the file and we're going to jump into the editing window. Here, 
we can play back the data, change camera follow, adjust the playback rate. This data is raw, so we can process the data with Access Studio. We will have exposed contact points recorded. We can adjust the contact points. If we right click, we'll have options to enable contact or disable contact. We can unlock frames with clear edit and we can lock frames and mark edit for data processing. We can also save as files if we want to have different versions of our recorded motion capture. If you're not happy with the motion capture edit, you can revert back to original file state. Once our motion capture has been approved, we can now export the file, select our required options, set the project and click on export. And that concludes this video.